Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making butterfly pea flour bread. The reason why I'm doing that is that I love that you can use the butterfly pea flour as a natural food coloring without using adulterated food colors. I'm always interested in using natural food colors to color anything I'm cooking. I grow butterfly pea for tea and most people know that it's usually blue. These are some of my own flowers that I have dehydrated and we'll use this later. This is about five grams of butterfly pea flowers. Naturally, this is blue. Once you add acid to it, it turns purple. Beautiful color. Amazing tea. Has a lot of antioxidants and is really good for you. But anyway, before we digress, so here is what we're doing. Here I have 15 grams of dried yeast blooming in 350 ml of warm milk with 15 grams of agave nectar, 150 grams or one cup of powdered milk, 750 grams of unbleached all purpose flour. This is half a tablespoon of kosher salt or a equivalent of eight grams of salt. This is 215 grams of monk sweetener instead of me using sugar. This has zero calories, zero glycemic index. So it is really good for those who have diabetes. It does not raise your sugar. Glycemic index tells you about how much fluctuation the things that you eat affects your sugar. Next is three room temperature large eggs, a homemade vanilla extract, which we're going to use two tablespoons of. The twist to all this besides the butterfly pea is that we're adding a quarter cup or 32 grams of hemp seed which is really rich in protein and fiber a quarter cup of chia seed which is good for you and it is rich in fiber a quarter cup of flax seed an excellent source of protein and fiber before we start in the sun mix you can see that the yeast has bloomed if your yeast does not bloom you want to throw it away and start again because either it has expired or something is not right. So I'm going to pour it in here. If I forget, we're going to use 113 grams or one stick of unsalted butter. That is room temperature. To the bloomed yeast, we add our eggs. Be sure not to add the shell. To this, add the sweetener. If you're using regular sugar, sugar is considered a liquid. So you want to add all the liquids together. I have white and golden monk sweetener. This is the golden one. It has a little bit of molasses in it which adds some minerals and nutrients to it as well next we add the powdered milk then mix it slightly we add a little bit of the flour gonna bring it up and start mixing you want to start it at a low speed add the rest of the flour then the salt and all of the extras this is the hemp seed the chia seed and the flax seed. then two tablespoons of vanilla extra that slow so that you don't get yourself into a whole flour mess and then you increase after about 10-15 minutes add the salted butter and restore. I like my bread soft so I need it for a long time until the gluten develops real well. We are done. We will remove this, set this aside, then flip this into two. Go to spray the counter to knead the dough. Next, weigh the dough by zeroing the scale and then finding out the total weight. So it weighs 1917. Then we cut it into two equal halves. This is 919. This right here is 956. And this is 961. So roughly the same is to spread this neck fold it put it in here and rub it so there's oil around it fold it then cover then in the meantime we are going to prepare our butterfly pea or we'll powder these We are going to add about two tablespoons of water. We're gonna add the two tablespoons. I'm just gonna put one. And what we're going to do is to mix it. And look at that. 
that gives you that blue color. We can do one or two things. So we are going to mix it. All we want to do is to mix it well. We are going to put this in this bowl. We're going to oil it and then mix completely well. Put it right here. Roll it and to cover it. So we have two of them. We are going to put them in the oven and let them rise for a few hours. After about one hour, the dough doubled. We set this aside, punching the air in the dough. We're going to divide each of these dough into three equal parts because we're making three loaves. And I'm going to weigh them to make sure that they are equal. We got our scale. We want each of them to be about 319 at zero. We're gonna cover this and then we'll do the same for this. We weigh it as well. So we have all this roughly the same and we're going to cover it. We're gonna prep our pan. We already lined it with the parchment paper. I spray it with an olive oil spray. Next, we roll each dough out in preparation for second rise. Cover the rest because we don't want it to dry up and roll them individually. And then we'll get the, the blue one, set this aside. And this one is the butterfly P1. We'll just roll it as well. Next, we'll grab this and we put it on top of that, aligning them. And then you roll. Then the next thing we want to do is to roll them tight. Then we'll put it in here and we'll repeat. And then we'll cover it, making sure it doesn't dry up. Now we are going to proof these for about 30 minutes onto the double before we bake them. We're gonna put them in the oven and proof them. We turn the oven light on to keep them warm. After about 30 minutes of second proofing, our bread has doubled in size. You can egg wash it or you can use milk or whatever you prefer. Meanwhile, the oven has been heated to 380 degrees Fahrenheit and we will bake for 30 minutes or until the skewer comes out clean, depending on your oven setting. I'm going to cover all these. This will make them cook evenly. I cover this one for paper so that it cooks evenly, but I will remove them. I don't want it to burn. Next, I place them in the oven. I will set the timer for 30 minutes. Great, the bread is done. The timer has gone off. Let's go grab that. Be sure to wear your gloves because it's still hot. We are going to take this off. It is hot. It smells amazing. Mmm, delicious. So I'm going to put a little bit of melted butter over it. Oh, it smells amazing. You can add any flavor to the butter or you can choose to omit this all together. This is definitely optional. I have the bread split up because I did not make a large enough loaf to rise up to the top of the pan. I tried to make enough so that we can finish it within the week. Since the bread has no preservative, it can only last a short time. But I tell you, this doesn't last that long. It doesn't even last two days. That's how good it is. We are going to allow this to cool down and we'll come in and cut into it and show you what it looks like inside. You can almost tell because it split, some of the inside came out, but it is going to be amazing. All right, it is the taste time. The bread has cooled down and feel how soft it still is. And it looks amazing. Mm, smells amazing. So let's see what it looks like inside. So we're just gonna cut into it. Wow. 
Look at that. Amazing. Wow. Gorgeous. That is simply perfect. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now let's take a taste test. Ooh, look at how soft this thing. Mmm. This is simply too beautiful. You can do this with spirulina or any food coloring. You can dry your beets and use it or use the beets water, depending on what color you want. You can use pomegranate, you know, and get all colors that you want. There's so many natural things we can use food coloring. We need to start avoiding all the food colorings that we have absolutely no idea what they are for the most part, most of which are banned in Europe and other countries, but are still allowed in the food here in the United States. But most importantly, this bread is healthy. It, it has hemp seed, which is high in fiber and protein. It also has flax seeds, which again, high in fiber, high in protein, with chia seeds. So you can create whatever it is that you want and make it as healthy as you want. Yes, there are no preservatives. That's why you make very little of it. And then your family will enjoy something healthy. Bread has a bad rap of uh, being really bad for you. It just depends on how you make it and who is making it and all the additives and all the preservatives that are in it. There's absolutely no reason why bread should last eternity without molding. Anyhow, this is simply too amazing. Look at that. You can create anything you want. It's all up to your imagination. Anyhow, if this video has been of value to you, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that we can notify you when we upload new videos. This is Dr. Okeke. Thank you. And remain blessed. Now it's time to eat this.